everyone i am excited to share with you my mini room makeover of our living room wall that you see behind me from a painted wall to a shiplap wall that we put up we were so excited to get this completed and this was a perfect time with this collab and video hop that i am participating in uh, this is by Heidi Sambal Home and Julie Marie is also participating so check out the links in the description box so you can see Heidi Sambal Home and her channel as well as Julie Marie's mini room makeover. I'm to see, excited to see what these ladies have done for their rooms as well. But during this time um, we had the shiplap so we were able to get that done because I know we can't go out shopping near as much as we would like to and get supplies and such. So I don't have a lot of decor and other things to show you, just more the wall and then what my living room looks like. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. I do videos such as these, um, simple living, homemaking, and motherhood videos. So I would definitely love to have you join my YouTube community. But I'm gonna show you the process and then how it made our house and our living room just look so cohesive and so well put together. So let's show you my mini room makeover. So to begin with, my husband got eight foot long slabs of five and a half inch shiplap and we got the more rustic looking shiplap. It's not smooth and it just had a primer on it. So I did end up painting it after we put up, up on the walls with a roller and then a paintbrush in between. You could, if you wish, and you know your layout of what you want to put up on the wall, you could paint it beforehand and then put it up. But we weren't quite sure how we wanted to layer it when we cut it. What I mean by that is um, our wall is longer than eight foot, so we had to put up um, a slab on the bottom and then figure out our staggering for our cuts because you don't want it all just lined up that would look a little tacky so we wanted to figure out what we wanted to do with that so i just painted after it honestly took me 45 minutes to paint it afterwards um i'm probably gonna have to do one more coat because it still has a little blue tint i don't know if you can tell that behind me but um, my husband did most of the cutting having a little one it's harder to participate in the diys that we do and um, I'm so thankful that he is willing and loves me enough to be able to do these, but he wanted it too in our house to make it look our style and just to add um, a pop of texture to our walls in our house. So anyways, um, he borrowed a nail gun and an air compressor from a friend. So if you don't have those on hand, that'd be something I borrow or I know you can rent them. And then he started going at it and putting it up. And it did take a little time to figure out how long we wanted each board and where to cut it. But my husband did a wonderful job of figuring that out. And I think it looks great with the staggering of how we decided the measurements and to cut it behind me. So we also realized with these boards, we got them from Lowe's, like I said, they must have been the end of the pile because there were some warped pieces. There were some bowed out pieces and it did take it did take like two afternoons for him to get it up, which should not have taken that long, but it did because there were so many awful pieces. We made it work. I really actually like the rustic look more than the smooth anyways, and it gives it character. And I didn't want the nail holes filled in. A lot of people do fill in the nail holes, but I like how that looks to be able to see the nail holes. I mean, back in the olden days when there was shiplap on the barns and in the houses, you could see the nail holes. There's no way they filled those in. So I really liked that. We did spend on the shiplap about $200. This is something we had budgeted for previously. So I know there's ways to get them clearance. Like we probably should have been able to get this clearance with how um, warped and unfunctional some of these boards were that we actually had to return. So I know there's ways to get them cheaper than what we did. And it was probably about a dollar. It was a dollar per foot I want to say so eight dollars a board um so that I mean it's not a cheap project but it's a whole wall and then with the paint I just went to our local hardware store and got the off the shelf ultra white flat color I didn't want like a really shiny glossy on there so I just did flat paint on there and painted the wall 
and then we did do some trim I don't know if you can see that but I'll show you that we did some trim as long as we went to our local lumber yard and bought some trim to trim it out because the edges were so um, jagged I would say because of how the boards were with not being the best boards so we put the trim up and I think that just gives it a final touch it's great and we did find out our ceiling is not um, level so we had about a fourth an inch difference from one side to the other so we also had to finagle another board up there good learning experiences for DIY projects you're always gonna run into something but I just think this wall looks so great in this space and I love this accent wall now um, we wanted to rearrange our furniture a little bit I'm gonna see how it looks with maybe um, the TV right under there or what I want to do for putting on the wall this clock I found on Facebook marketplace I want to put on this wall I believe I've been looking on Facebook marketplace for some of the things I normally thrift a lot of items and just haven't been able to obviously for um, particular reasons and so I'm not real sure exactly what I want to do on the wall yet so I'm still on the hunt for all of that maybe you can give me some ideas in the description box as you're thinking like some old chapel style windows um, the clock maybe a collage wall I am not 100% sure but um, yeah I think it just cohesive eyes if that's a word our room and I just love the way it looks and I think it adds such a nice accent to our living room and I'm so glad I was able to participate in this mini room makeover. So if you have not checked out the other ladies and you're just starting at my channel, go check out the other ladies in this video hop. And if you are new, I am so glad you watched this video and hopefully it gives you some inspiration to do an accent wall in your house. Doesn't have to be shiplap. Um, do a mini room maker for some sort. It could just honestly be rearranging your furniture because at this time, going out and buying anything is not real possible. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope that you are inspired by what we are doing with our April mini room makeovers. So anyways, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next one. All right, bye.